How's everybody doing tonight? I am here to do a kind of a review on what is called a Show Maven 10 foot century light stand C stand on a turtle base with four foot extension boom, arm, and two piece grip head and carry bag. And this is used for video, photography studios, whatever you want to call them. You can use it for your light stands, you can use it for boom microphones, which is what I'm using it for. You can use it for your reflectors, for your shadow boxes, whatever you call them, whatever you, you know, whatever your purpose form is. This is about, it's on Amazon, it's $119, $120, plus, you know, a little bit of taxes or whatnot. It does come with a four foot boom. It's a nice chrome looking boom pole or a light stand. It is really nice. It's very heavy duty. It is very, very heavy duty. I've got some, you can see, so I use this one over here as my normal light stand. This is a very light duty one. It does have the four foot boom, boom pole on it that came with this Show Maven 10 foot boom pole, or the C stand I should say. It is, it's a chrome, it's not like this. It's, this, is, this is not metal, this is like a very light aluminum, really terrible quality light stand. They're not very good. I think these are about $12 a piece. Again, this one, uh, the Show Maven is $120. It, it is a very good quality, very heavy duty light stand or C stand, whatever you use it again for. Um, the way I've got it, the reason I'm not showing it right now is because I'm going to take a video of how I'm using it because I am using it right now for this video actually. I use it as a boom mic pole. I have a shotgun microphone on it and um, it hangs over my camera which is about two and a half, three feet in front of me but it actually is on a boom pole that goes about six and a half feet over here to the corner. I can't even see the thing right now because of the lights and everything. So I also have it, I use it as a dual purpose. I also have a mic shield that when recording vocals in the studio, which this is my studio back here. So when, when recording vocals, I have a, uh, a mic shield that will clamp onto a microphone pole. And I don't use microphone poles that much, the, the mic stand poles. They're, they're, they slip, uh, unless you get the ones that are 100 bucks and have the grip kind. So the little Teflons that are inside those mic poles, the mic stands, they, they tend to not grip after a while. Or if you've got too much weight, weight on them, they'll just slowly slip down. This mic shield actually weighs quite a bit. I mean, it's eh, not quite a bit. It's, it's probably a, about seven, eight pounds, I would say, something like that. It's pretty good size. It's, uh, it's about two feet around so it's kind of a half half can and then it's about uh, a foot and a half tall and of course it is it's kind of an aluminum uh, shielding and it's it's got holes on it for ventilation stuff but it also has uh, one and a half inch thick foam all inside it and then it also has a bracket and then it clips uh, clamps to the, the microphone stand too the uh, the stand that's or the bracket that's on there will actually hold a shot or not a shotgun but a um, a shock mount for a microphone. I generally tend to use a uh, a Rode NT1A on it, so it comes with a very large shock mount plus a pop filter plus the microphone. Altogether, probably weighing about three and a half pounds. So it holds quite a bit of weight. So that tends to push that mic stand down into its little the base the uh, bottom compartment or the bottom pole. So it won't stay up tall enough, if, especially if you've got a tall person, which I'm not, so I don't have a problem. I can put it halfway down and there's not a problem there for me. But for somebody that's a little bit taller, they're going to have to keep slouching down. It doesn't, you know, doesn't move down that much. Now this pole, I've got the six and a half foot boom pole on there. Plus I've got my shotgun mic. Plus I've got the cable going through all of it. And I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to look that up. But it is the uh, boom pole holder which is kind of just like a like what you would take to the uh, to the lake if you're going fishing you put your little rod in there and that way it keeps it you can stick it in the sand and it holds it up so then under that boom pole holder you've got the grip now th this is a, a twist lock grip so you loosen these up and then these these spread apart now the ones that come with it aren't the best these are heavy duty don't get me wrong there these are really heavy duty this is a good pound and a half two pounds right here but um these don't have a spring in them so i have another one that's it's actually a really cheap one and it's not as heavy duty as these are 
But when you open this up, it actually springs open and close, so you don't have to worry about them rotating and getting in wrong position, which makes it a little bit difficult to work with. And then this one, this side, just slips over the end of the light pole and then tighten down on there. So this slips, is on the top of the C-stand, and then you put the holder in here, and then you put the boom pole in there. So it came with two of these. So you get two good quality grips, the four foot boom pole, which has a, if I remember correctly, it's a quarter inch, quarter 20 uh, male threads on one end and three eighths, um, whatever it is with the three eighths, I'm not sure what the thread pattern is, male on the other end. So you can use it for either a camera, camera mount, or you can use it for whatever else you can use those for. I'm not sure what you use the three eighths for. Anyways, so then that, that this of course just grips onto the C stand. The C stand has those heavy duty legs. And then I've also got a, uh, I think it's a 20 pound sandbag at the bottom at the foot of the, the C stand. So I've got my boom pole extended out to about six and a half, seven feet. My microphone, my shotgun microphone with a, I can't remember what they call it, a raccoon tail, uh, the, the fuzz buster, the, the wind protector, whatever you call it. Um, the mic cable, and it's a pretty good heavy duty mic cable. It's not a cheap one that's really light or anything. <clears throat> the boom pole holder, the grip, then coming down off of that, then a couple couple inches down from that, then I've got that shield. All I've got on there is my shotgun mount. I don't actually have the microphone mounted on there to it because uh, I keep those boxed up in a, in a nice uh, waterproof case and everything. So, <clears throat> so then Again, this is a very heavy duty, and this thing goes up 10 feet in the air. Right now, I'm, I'm in an eight foot room, so I've probably got it up six foot and six or seven feet up in the air, and then all this is mounted on top of that, and it is not moving. It is not budging. It is stuck up there. It stays exactly where I need it. I never have to worry about my boom pole moving unless I want it to. If I have to take this whole thing apart, it's not that hard. It came with a bag. It, you can break it down in minutes, except for the boom pole part, of course, because I've got the microphone wire on there and everything. So it's that's a little bit intense. But just to um, just to bag it up normally when you're using it for a light stand, this would be really good to use on in your studio, especially if you don't have to move it around. They do have a little bases for these where you can roll them to if you want to do that. I didn't care for that. I like the one with the extra little boom pole on it. Like I said, I use that for when I'm doing a tabletop demonstration of something and I want to video that up close, then I'll use it, use that on my action cam and then I'll have my, my Zoom Q2N Q into, or Q2N filming the, the first part of it. So to me, this is a very, very good quality, very good build, a little bit pricey, but to be honest with you, what in the audio video world is not pricey? To be honest with you, everything is. So, I mean, just my tripod was $160. So I can't complain too much that this heavy, heavy duty light stand, the C stand is 120 bucks. That's, that's a good, good quality, good product, solidly built for 120 bucks. I don't think that anything will ever break down on this. It doesn't have those, the little Teflon rings that I was talking about, like a mic stand has, or a light stand with those little, little cheap, crappy ones. This has spring loaded tightener knobs for each of the, se the sections that move up and down. Uh, the, the, the main main pole going into the C stand part, the turtle, whatever they call that down at the bottom. Uh, the, the part that that goes into has a locking washer or a locking wing nut on it. There is no little Teflon rings to tighten things up. If you tighten it up, you are tightening a wing nut into the steel or whatever it's made out of. I'm not sure, but it is very heavy duty. It's not aluminum. I can tell you that. I think if anything, you're, you may lose a little bit of the chrome on it after a couple years or something, or if a lot, if you use it a lot and move it around a lot, you may lose use a little, lose a little bit of chrome. But anyways, the bag that comes with is pretty decent quality. I, I thought it was pretty nice that uh, it even came with that. Unfortunately, it's it only breaks down so much, so it's a, it's a pretty good sized bag, and it's again fairly heavy to carry around. So if you're carrying this around from scene to scene, you're you're gonna get a little bit of uh, weight from it so yeah good luck with that but luckily i keep mine in my studio i'm i almost i'm never going to break it down probably unless i have to move things around and change things in the studio so okay here is the newer furry mic cover this is for it's a windsock um 
And behind that is the shock mount for a shotgun microphone. Here's the Neewer boom pole. These are, this is about 50 bucks. The other two pieces are about 10, 12 bucks each on Amazon. All this can be found on Amazon. There is the boom pole holder going into that grip which I'm telling you about. And then the C stand, I'm, yeah, the C stand itself. Here are the, uh, the two spring loaded cams that, that can extend the pole up. Here's the little foam grip. Moving on down to the turtle base where you see the wing nut where the pole goes into it. Those legs do just all fold together. There's nothing holding them in place other than just weight. Here is the shield and the Rode NT1A shock mount with the, the pop filter. Here is the bracket that holds that shield onto the pole. And again, that pole is really wide. It's wider than a standard mic stand, so I had to take out the grip and, and everything off the top in order to slide that down over it. And there's the heavy duty wing nuts that just screw into the metal. And there is the sandbag holding it all down. That's about 25 pounds. Of course, I probably don't need that much, if any, but I use it anyways. Here is the four foot boom pole that came with the C-Stand. It does have quarter 20 threads on one end and three eighths inch threads on the other end. There is the cheap grip that I was telling you about. And then at the top of this, I do have a action cam mount. 